to everyone. Uh, uh, I am Yusri. So today I like to uh, demonstrate uh, software named eViews uh, that uh, purposely to do for econometric analysis, forecasting and simulation. So uh, before I go deeper into the eViews, uh, let me explain a little bit about my company. So, wait. So uh, I'm from Statwork Group. So in Statwork Group, we actually uh, based on the computer, computer national analytic, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So Statwork Group are based uh, basically a data science and analytic solution. So our HQ office is based in Malaysia, with uh, branches in Singapore and India. So we provide two kind of service, which is uh, we distribute license model for computational analytic and then we implement a uh, service which is <laughs> sorry okay uh, we implement service including training and consultation for those uh, software okay uh, next uh, this is our leading solution partner as you can see here uh, there's a few partner like tipco uh, perceptron uh, and uh, esri Okay, moving on. Uh, this is the customer that use eView. So I give you a few minutes to uh, see uh, the customer that use eView. Okay, so moving on. Okay, let's uh, proceed to the introduction for the eView. So eView actually owned by IHS Market Limited. So I believe that if you are Sorry, why I've been mute? Hello, I can see you. I've been... Sorry, I've been mute before. Wait. Okay. Uh, okay. Where I live. Okay, so uh, eViews are uh, owned by IHS Market Limited, and I believe that uh, eViews update their version yearly. And for now, uh, the latest eView are version 11. So for the demonstration, uh, I will use eView version 11. So what is eView actually? Eview is a uh, software that are suitable to do forecasting and to handle time series data. It also good with panel or longitudinal data. With eViews, you actually can manage your data uh, as simple as by clicking the function of each button and then you can perform econometric and statistical analysis. You can also do forecasting and then you can also produce high quality graph like for example histogram, line chart and then and do some table like statistical table. Okay, uh, for the user interface, uh, I believe that if you are fam familiar with Excel, the interface for uh, eViews are much likely like Excel. Uh, what I mean by that is if you can see over here, uh, the user interface are just by clicking and uh, it will pop up a uh, few windows in the same uh, interface. Okay. Uh, next, uh, it also have, uh, has window integration, uh, which is uh, if you want to import or put in your data, you don't need to like uh, do some coding or anything. You just like simply drag and drop into the eViews. So that's what I mean by um, similar to Excel. Okay, other than that, it also come with multiple window display, which means if you uh, do like, for example, graphing or do uh, analysis on your data, it will have multiple window, which means that each of the window, you can save it uh, separately. You can change, uh, you can uh, produce into PDF file and so on. Okay, next is the function of import and export. So in eViews, actually it can read like 
more than 20 popular da data format. Uh, the most, uh, the most um, common data data that we use are Excel, and then you can also read from SPSS, SAS, and more. Uh, the interesting part of using eViews actually you can do frequency conversion, which is you can specify your observation into like, for example, you want to do the sum observation first or last observation. You can actually change your data as you know you you using like uh, time series data, so you can change like from quarterly into daily or monthly or yearly. You can also uh, put in your data into ascending order or descending order. Okay, this is a few of the powerful analytic tools that come with eViews. You can do the basic statistic analy analysis like um, descriptive statistic, you can do time series statistic, uh, you can also put in uh, your ARIMA forecasting and then you can produce some single equation estimation. Okay. Next, uh, the presentation quality output. Okay, over here you can see the example of a uh, few graphs that come with eViews. You can do like a box plot, multiple chart, multiple um, graph, uh, and you can do it as a, a different um, graph in one windows. Okay, I will explain this deeper in uh, during my demo session. Okay, next is uh, using eViews also you will have a command line and programming which is uh, every step that you do, for example, you you produce some graphing, it will show you the, um, the coding for those steps. So if you have like a multiple data, data set but with the same step that you do, if you want to only change the data set, you can just only uh, change the coding in part of the uh, data type, data set. So you don't need to like click all over again for another data set. So you just like only copy paste the uh, coding. Okay, and next, uh, in eViews also come with a help button, which is over here you will be provide some PDF file. Uh, there's a few module in the PDF file that explain to you the use of the eViews and it's also show you for example like if you want to do graphing the step by step to do that. Other than that you can also go to the website if you have like some question you can ask uh, in the website. Okay, okay. Uh, eViews also integrate with Python which is uh, each of the step that you do uh, for example, uh, some uh, regression modeling, uh, uh, some regression modeling, uh, you can come up with a Python output. So if you have Python program la programming language, you can just simply copy and paste into your Python program. And it will run uh, using that program. Okay, this is a uh, GeoMap. GeoMap actually a new function that come in uh, the latest eView, which is eView 11. So if you have like shape file format, you can actually build uh, maps by by using eViews. Okay, so uh, next I will go to uh, demo session. So if you have any question uh, regarding to the demo session or before that, you can just uh, uh, put in into chat box and I will answer your question at the end of the session. Okay, so if this is okay for everyone, let's just proceed to the demo session. Okay, can you see the interface of the eViews over here? Anyone? Okay, uh, so this is the, uh, when you open the, uh, inter the eViews uh, software, this is the interface that you get. So what I mean by, uh, it is similar to Excel because uh, the first one, uh, 
the yes, first one. You can see your interface of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I also cannot see the interface of your EVOS file, madam. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, wait, eh? Okay, can you see now? Yes, we can. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Okay. No yes, yes. Okay, so when you open the eViews, this is what the interface look like. So at the top of the interface, you will have the menu button. So in the menu button, actually you will have five functions, which is if you want to uh, put in your data or you want to import some uh, uh, data like from another database, and then you can actually export your data into uh, store to the database and then you can print your uh, data into like uh, PDF and so on. So for example, if you like to uh, put in your data, Excel data, you can just click file, open and you click on the foreign data. Okay, next is the edit function. Edit function over here, uh, mostly like if you want to undo your work or you want to cut or copy your, your work and then you can paste and then you can also delete uh, your words over here. Okay, and then uh, another thing that I like to highlight is the quick button. So on quick button, actually you can generate some series, generate some, um, some equation, for example, like regression equation, you can do by clicking the quick button and then you can do also a estimate equation. Okay. Okay, so for the option button, okay, over here you can actually change your data type, which is what I told you before, like for example, you want to take like the observation for your data, like you don't want to be in average, you can change into first, last or sum of the observation. You can also change into low to high frequency method. Other than that, you can also change the spreadsheet which is your data itself if you want to the the series of the data in one column which is in just one window pop-up you can click on one column for all data or you want to be multiple column and then you can change the order like from ascending order into descending order and then you can also transpose your data into rows over here okay uh, next is uh, the help button. So over here you can download your uh, PDF document. Uh, there's a few modules that you can download by clicking the PDF document. You can also go into the online eViews help. If you have any problem uh, regards to using of the eViews. Okay. Next, over here, you can see the uh, white box. This white box actually show you the step that you do uh, at your data set. So in the capture button, it will come out the coding for each step that you do. Okay, next one is the uh, black box over here. So the black box over here are the pop-up window that, for example, if you put in your data, the uh, Excel data, it will come with a new pop-up window. When you try to do like graphing, it will come another pop-up window. So I will show you later. Okay, so let's proceed to the first step, which is getting data into eViews. So, uh, so if you want to import your data, you can just simply click File and click Open, click Foreign Data. So as I told you before, in Foreign Data, uh, you can uh, eViews can actually read few data format. Uh, for example, SAS, Excel, or even text file. The simplest way that you can do is by uh, drag and drop your data. So uh, I have a data over here from my file. I just like drag and drop the data in the eView software. Okay, so the first, uh, the first thing that pop up into your software is the step to alter your data set. So the first one actually show you, the box over here show you uh, the column in your Excel file. So you can see there's uh, 
five column okay and next uh, the uh, you can change the column into row by clicking the read series by row and you can see here it's changed into row each of the uh, wearable change into row okay next uh, you click next and the second step is uh, the he uh, column header name you can change the name for the header uh, over here and you can like put the header how how many lines that you like okay and next you can change each column that you have for example if you do not want the name of the column to be observed you can change it over here and then you can put some description for each of the column and then you can also change the data type for each column over here by clicking like for example if you want to change to character dates or number okay okay by clicking next it will go to the final step which is the structure of the data so here actually what i mean by the frequency of the data if you like to change from quarterly to yearly or daily so uh, if you actually are smart enough to know what kind of data uh, data uh, in the frequency of what kind of data for example quarterly or yearly so the original data are uh, uh, can uh, if you see here are 1952 q1 q2 quarter one quarter two until quarter four it's mean like it was in quarterly so it will automatically choose quarterly but if you want to change it you can change into like uh, multi year annual or daily so as for now let's stick to the quarterly so uh, lastly you just uh, have you just click finish okay over here it will pop up uh, another function which is over here if you uh, change like for example value in your column if you like the change to be uh, if you like the excel to change exactly how you change in uh, eviews for example you change the name of the column gdp into some new name if you want it to change to the original data in the excel you just click yes but if you want to if you do not want to touch the original data you just click no so this is the function of the link imported series so for now i just click no so the first thing that comes up over here is the uh, the first window, the pop-up window over here. Okay, so the first thing that you recognize is the range and sample of the data. So on top of here, it will tell you the range of data from what year it start until what year. And then it will show you how many observations that you have. Okay, next if you like to select a uh, few sample to do the analysis you can just simply double click and then you just type what year you want for example 1990 until 1996 okay and then you just click okay okay and then you, it will show you how many observation that you have for now let's just stick into all observation okay so next uh, it will show you over here it will come out with few data files so each of the column in your excel it has their own data file so if you double click for gdp it will show you the gdp spreadsheet this is the value for gdp only okay so uh, when you uh, uh, when you try for example if you like to to see multiple column in just one spreadsheet you can just multi-select a uh, column that you want and then you right click and then you click open as group and it will show you all the selected wearable as one spreadsheet okay so for the spreadsheet over here if you want to do investigation for example you go back and you want to do the single wearable only but after that you want to have the multiple wearable again you don't need to do uh, multiple select again you just need to save this as a new uh, file so what you do is you click name and then you name it as uh, 
for example, original. Okay, and then you click OK. And as you can see here, it will show you another data file. So uh, you don't need to like multi select all over again. Okay. So next, I like to show you how you can investigate your data. So for example, I like to investigate for wearable M1. Okay, first thing you do is you double click the M1 and it will show you the spreadsheet. Okay, so for, uh, if you like to do some descriptive statistic, for example, if you want to see the mean, medium, um, maximum or minimum value, you click on the view button and then you click the descriptive statistic and then you show the stat table. So this is the stat table for M1 only. Okay, next, you can also uh, view the graph of the M1. So how to do that is you click view, you click graph, and then on the graph, actually you can see few options that you can choose to do the graph. For example, if you want to do bar chart or box plot, for now, let's just see the line and symbol. And then you click OK, and it will show you the line graph. Okay. Uh, next, if you want to go back to the spreadsheet, you just click View, and then click Spreadsheet. So it will go back to the original uh, values for the uh, selected variable. Okay, so next, if you want to put some expression, for example, log M1, okay. What, what can you do is you click quick and then you click show and over here you just type your uh, expression for example log bracket m1 and you click ok and it will come out with new uh, okay it will come out with a new uh, data file okay so for the for this uh, example uh, for log m1 uh, you can also see the histogram for log 1 so to see the uh, to see the uh, graphing for histogram you can click view descriptive statistic and do the histogram and the stat so you can see both the stat table and the histogram for log 1 you can also do for another variable the same step. Okay, you can also do a kernel density distribution uh, by clicking the view graph. Okay, and then choose a uh, distribution and then change it into kernel density and then click OK. So you can see the uh, kernel density uh, graph over here. Okay, uh, other than that, if you, you want to uh, put in some uh, series, some uh, equation, um, you can click quick, show, and for example, I like to uh, put in equation of this one. Okay, and then you click OK. And then it will show you each of the um, each of the expression for each variable in one file. So in this uh, file, you can show all of the variable in single graphing. So you can just click view graph, and then you can see you you can can, can click line and symbol and you click OK, and all the variables are in one graph. And it will indicate what color are what. So for example, uh, log M1 are blue. You can see all of the uh, variables in one graph. But if you want to do it separately, you have more people. Uh, sir, can you repeat the last step? The last step? Yeah. How did you compile all of the variables in one graph? OK, wait. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, for like, for, uh, if you want to generate series, like for e estimate equation, 
uh, you just like key in your uh, series over here, your equation, and then you click OK. So all of the so all of the series will series will show in one file. Okay, over here. You click quick and you click show and then you key in your equation, it will show you all of the variable. But if you are if you if your question are how to select all as one, you can multi select all the variable you choose. Uh, and then you right click and open as a group. And it will show you all of the selected variable as one group. Okay. So for back into Okay. Okay. Right. So back into the estimator, uh, back into the equation before. Okay. Okay. So uh, if you want to do multiple graph in one window, what can you do is you click graph. This is the same thing if you uh, double, if you multiple choice like I show you before as a group. What you need to change is over here, multiple series, you just need to choose multiple graph. So when you choose multiple graph, it will show you different graph uh, for different variables. Okay. Okay, next you can also show the stack table uh, for those for all of the variable in one spreadsheet. Okay. Okay, next if you want to do covariance analysis, uh, you can click a uh, view and go to covariance analysis. And if you want to do like for example, correlation, you choose correlation. If you want to do another kind of method, you can choose over here. And then you just click OK, and it will show you the correlation between the variable. Okay, next, uh, let's move on into estimating a regression model. So to do a equation model, uh, you just need to click quick, and then go into equation, estimate equation. And over here, you key in the equation that you want to use. For example, my equation is this. Okay. And then you just click. You can choose the what kind of method that you want to choose. For example, over here, I use least square. And then you can click OK. Okay. And then it will show you the... Uh, it will show you the uh, regression result for the uh, estimated equation. So over here, you can actually view the fitted residual and uh, fitted residual graph. So how can you do this is actually you click view and then you choose actual fitted residual and choose the graph. And then you can see the graphing for the actual residual and the fitted value okay next if you want to see the uh, uh, estimation hypothesis test you can just click view and see the uh, click the representation so you can see the estimation command the equation how we do the equation and the coefficient okay you can also do the uh, walk test coefficient by clicking view coefficient uh, diagnosis and then click walk test coefficient and then enters for example c4 equal to 2 okay, click ok and then this is the walk test uh, table Okay, so the low probability values indicate that the null hypothesis, which is C4 equal to 2, is strongly rejected. Okay, and then you can also do the uh, serial correlation LM test by clicking the view, residual uh, diagnostic, diagnostic, and then click the serial correlation LM test. And then you can uh, click in, like for example, one lakh. 
and then you can see the table of uh, the zero correlation LM test. Okay, next you can also modify your equation before uh, uh, by clicking the estimate uh, function over here. So estimate function is actually if you want to change your uh, equation into new equation, for example, the new equation is Okay, this is the new equation. So you just need to uh, change it over here and you click OK and it will show you the new result for the new equation. Okay, so you can also save the equation by clicking name and you name it, uh, uh, for example, EQ. Okay. So when you save the equation, it will automatically come out with the new file over here in your work file. Okay, next in the EQ lab uh, file, you can actually uh, duplicate the uh, duplicate the function by click the equation over here, and then you click uh, copy object. And then you can save it into new um, files name. Okay. Okay. And next, uh, okay. Next, if you want to do some uh, modification, or for example, if you like to add uh, arima into your into your equation, uh, you can click the EQ legs and click the estimate uh, value. And then you can choose the, you can uh, put in your new series. Example over here for AR1. And then we come up with the new uh, table. Okay, so let's proceed to uh, forecasting the series. So, if you want to do forecasting for the estimated equation, uh, as you can see here, there is a forecast button. So when you click the forecast button, it will show you uh, which series you like to forecast. For example, if you want to do log M1, you can just click log M1. And if you want to change the year from 90, 93 until 1996, okay. Just click OK and then it will show you the graph for the forecasted uh, value. Okay, uh, next, if you want to do the forecast for the M1, it's uh, the same step that you can do. You just choose M1 over here and change into selected year that you want and then choose OK. It will show you the graph for M1. Okay. So, uh, so for example, if you want to do a graph to check a new um, equation, so if you want to do a new equation, you just click quick and click show and key in your equation. For example, over here, F. Last two M one M underscore F minus two one okay and then and then uh, you click. Okay, maybe because the name of FM one F is no no underscore for M one F.
In the review, maybe I need to come again for this uh, equation. Maybe I have a few errors on the question. Okay, so okay. Uh, let's proceed with, uh, uh, for example, if you want to see the, uh, for example, if you want to do another additional testing. So over here, you can uh, do testing by, if you want to see like, for example, the correlation LM test to uh, diagnose and click the CLM test. Uh, if you see the, what did I just say? Here, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then uh, other than that, uh, okay, other than that, you can also uh, show the uh, correlogram for using to do forecasting. For example, if you want to do first differencing or second differencing, you can just click the correlogram uh, function, and then you click OK, and it will show you the AC, uh, AC and P, ACF and the PACF of the uh, of the wearable. Okay. So overall, uh, I believe that I have concluded all uh, the demonstration for the e-views. So if there's any uh, any question regarding to the license you can uh, email us to wait uh, to this to this uh, email i show you okay anything regarding to the license you can email it over here okay so let me see your question yeah. Madam, in forecasting could you please uh, uh, highlight how to use the var function in forecasting please Forecasting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. For example, uh, uh, where, uh, okay. When you have the data file, for example, you have Q, EQ, Lex, uh, the function that you put in into your quick function, for example, you have you are, you already have estimated e equation that you put in. For example, you put in uh, this equation, okay, okay, and then you click OK. Okay, over here it will come out with new equation. So in this equation, you can. See see the forecast button. So you just simply click the forecast button and you choose which uh, wearable that you like to forecast. For example, if you have, if you want to forecast me, then you key in your selected years, 1996, and then you click OK. Wait. Okay, and it will show you the forecast graph which means the forecast line and the actual line. Okay. Right. Is that clear? Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, is it possible to share something about the VAR modeling also in a forecasting technique? Uh, what? Sorry? The vector autoregressive model, VAR. Oh, okay. Mm. 
Thank you, I'll give me a minute. Okay, for okay, for Arima, uh, you actually can change the equation uh, in the estimate equation. So as uh, I show you before, my equation, for example, R A R one, you can key in the Arima and. Uh, R A R and M A in this equation. So if okay. you uh, if you like to change the value of the arima A R to two or another value, you just simply uh, put in your equation over here, and then you just click OK, and it will show you the the table of uh, the equation, including the arima over here A R or M. A R or M A that you put in in the equation. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, uh, let's see the question. Okay, so let's check the question. Uh, Okay, for first one, does this lecture include Spotfire or only views? For Spotfire, I believe uh, it will be conducted tomorrow. Okay, next. Um, okay, the difference between eViews and SPSS. Uh, I believe that eViews are expert in handling uh, series data. It is good for forecasting, while SPSS more into statistics analysis for example if you want to do like by chart by chart like more into graphing i believe uh, spss are expert in that okay um another question okay i think that's that's all the question from the chat if you have anything else, you can ask me. Would it be okay. possible for you to share your email address so that if we have any queries, we can get back to you on email, madam? Email? Yeah. Uh, you can see in the chat box. Okay. Yeah. So I hope that you can get a basic idea what eViews can do. So basically, I uh, I could conclude that if you are more into forecasting, generate some regression series, and uh, do a simple graphic. So I hope that uh, you all clear with what I explained before. Okay, so if. Hello all, uh, thank you for your time today. Is there any more questions uh, so that we can uh, leave this uh, call? Uh, 
I have got one question. Sure. Is there any a test to validate this forecast results? You three, uh, can you explain? Uh, to do the evaluation of the focus um, I think I, I I I need to get back to the question uh, later I, I need to explore more on the validation of the uh, focus equation so anything I will uh, if you if you can leave your email or uh, your email, I will get back to you for the evaluation part of the forecasting. Okay, thank you. Anything I will email you. So, any other question? Okay, so if there is no question, uh, Umar, is there anything you'd like to add? Uh. Okay, wait, uh, for the geomaps, uh, I need to um, explore the new function because I, uh, I believe that this is the new function for geomap. So uh, for the geomap function, I will get back to you uh, later. If there's You three, I think we have one more question. Uh, uh, client of post uh, of the okay. yeah, can you check on that? Okay, wait. Huh? Trend and check for the seasonality in GDP. Uh, you can do a seasonal unit root test for your data. So you. We can't view your screen, uh, you three. Oh, uh, wait, I share the screen. Okay. So, for example, you want to see the GDP, you can do the unit root test over here and see the seasonal unit root test. And you can click OK and it will show you. Sorry. There's problem in my
Okay, okay. So you can see here are the seasonal unit root tests for GDP. So if you want to see the, just double click your GDP view, click unit root test, click the seasonal unit root test. And then you, uh, it will show you the, it will show you the seasonal test. Over here. Okay, I hope that's clear. Okay, uh, so uh, for to doing the forecast evaluation, okay, uh, for the question for the uh, evaluation of the forecasting, uh, you can click the M1F wearable and then you click view and then you click the forecast evaluation and then you can choose uh, four methods uh, that you want to evaluate the forecast value. Example like Uh, first, you need to uh, enter the series first and then the evaluation sample and then choose what kind of method you want and then you click OK and then it will show you the evaluation method for the forecasted series. That's for the question of uh, how to evaluate the forecasting. Okay. Okay, is there any question? I think there's no more questions. Okay. I think uh, we can uh, we can finish this moment. Right. Thank you, thank you everyone, and uh, thank you, you three. Okay, thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. Bye. Thank you.